hi everyone, welcome to my lesson. In the previous video, we did the Instagram home screen UI. We learned how to use the scroll view for the stories, how to create a post, and how to scroll. In this video, I will teach you how to code cleaner and navigate between screens. At the moment, we are on the home screen. I will teach you how to go to the search, reels, shop, an account. It is not necessary, but I highly recommend you to watch my previous video. Let's get started. First, let's talk about components. Currently, our content view has a lot of code. We have to clean this up. In your Instagram app, let's create a folder, a new group, and let's name it components. And in your components folder, we're going to create a file for each components that we have in our content view on the, for the header, stories, and so on. In your components, new file. Make sure to select the Swift UI view. And make sure that uh, the file name is the same as the components name. First, header. At this point, you will see the invalid redeclaration of header. This error pops up because Xcode is smart enough to know that there's another component in your project that has the same name. To fix this issue, let's go to your content view, scroll to your header, select all of it, and just cut it. Then. In your header, replace this part by your actual component. Make sure to save and let's go back to your content view. If you resume, you see that the header is still here and we have no problems. And this is how you make a component in Swift UI. Let's do the same thing for the story stories, post header, post content, and the post. When this is done, you can see that our content view is a lot cleaner. Next, let's create a folder for views. That way we can separate the home view from the search view, reels view, shop, and the account view. Here, new group, name it views. And then you can see here, on the content view, we have this vStack. This vStack is basically our home view. But, in, but we have to remove the tab bar since it is not very specific to the home view, but more the actual navigation. Here, let's remove that. Then in views, create a new file. for home view, then let's bring this vStack inside the body. In your content view, let's just add the tab bar. And let's resume. So now let's talk about the tab bar. In the last video, we basically did the minimum design for the tab bar. In this one, let's make it functional. So let's take a look at the current tab bar. Right now, it is a simple V stack with a divider and an H stack that contains images and spacers. First, 
let's remove the H stack and replace it by a tab view. A tab view can be used very easily. It is a view that is capable of switching between multiple child views. It means that each view in it gets its own screen. All the images here has its own screen at the moment. First, let's remove all the spacers and the paddings, as well as the divider. Next, we have to add a tab item modifier for each view. On the image home, let's add the tab items. And inside this tab items, we're going to add an image, which is the home. Make sure to resume. And now you see that the home icon displays a home image. Let's do the same thing for all of them. For the search, we are going to add the search icon. Same thing for the reels. And for the image profile, it's going to be a bit different. And there is because the tab item is not compatible with an image and resizable. What I had to do is to go to Figma, to take my profile and to resize it to a tab profile, which is width 21 and height 21 pixels. Here, I can add my image. Like, and let's resume. And now, if you select the different items in your tab bar, you can see that it is switching screens. The way that it works is that the image becomes the actual view and the tab item is your navigation to that view. So here, let's replace the image home by our home view component. When the home tab is selected, we are on the home view. And when you select the other ones, it switches between other screens. This is the end of the video. I know it is a quick one, but I hope that you enjoy it and I will see you on the next one.